you hear about Spotify recently taking off all their comedy? What are your thoughts? Crazy. It's, it's just kind of crazy. It's like insane to be like, well, so instead of paying, you're just like, well, I'll just get, take all of you. Yeah. Off. It sounds like, like a dad move. Like if you're in yeah. the car and you're like, dad, turn the radio station to this. And he goes, you know what? How about I just turn it off? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It does sound like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know like, what? Everybody off. Yeah. <laughs> here he is right here. The very funny Grammy nominated. Nate Bargatze, how are you, buddy? Good, buddy. I thought you were calling me Graham. That's how much I'm not used to that. Is I was like, I thought you were just like I, there was another Graham, like that you're that's on the show, and you're like <laughs> me, you and Graham doing the podcast together. <laughs> oh no, no, no! You got to get used to that, dude. I mean, that's gonna be um, the rest of your life, unless you win. Then it's gonna be Grammy winner. But the rest of your life, I imagine, and this is a great thing. You're gonna get that that intro you get the grammy nominated yeah i mean it's yeah you know it's funny people always say you get it for the rest of your life and uh and then nominate you know every you know everybody's like it's just happy to be nominated but i feel like you definitely do hear grammy nominated more than you ever hear grammy winner uh oh yeah you well it's probably because there's a lot more of them you know what i mean oh yeah, yeah. I, you know it's funny i just saw something today uh, something and someone they were a Grammy winner. I I don't know the band, but it was like they were a Grammy winner, and I just noticed the winner part because I was like I never really <laughs> thought about it. Right? Oh, you'll be paying uh, attention to that stuff now. Um, what are you going to be humble and you just even if you win, you got still Grammy nominated? They're like you didn't win. You're like oh, I won, but I'm not trying to. It's already a lot that I'm nominated. So, <laughs> uh, do you have like I know that that I don't know when that when, when did you say it was coming up? The actual. January 31st. Okay, so that's pretty soon. Um, yeah. Do you have any kind of like speech prepared? And if so, have you practiced it? Who are you thanking? Have you thought about this stuff? I have thought about it. I mean, you know, you don't want to, but then you're like, I don't want to not be prepared. Uh, I think you want to be quick. You don't want to be – I always, if I can try to just be funny, you know, I, I think it's like that's what I should – that's what I want to do. I think you got to think like you're – you know, for the first thing ever that like, if I ended up winning, it's like you thank your parents and yeah. you know, all that, your wife and, you know, our, our daughter and everybody, uh, agents, on you know. So it's like you probably got to do that. You only probably – I don't know how much time you got, 20 seconds or something like that. Yeah. I don't even do that. Maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds. I've, that's so funny. I've thought of that stuff before. I've never been nominated for anything, but I've all, all you know, we always have these fantasies like, who would you be thanking if you were up there? And uh, you're right. First time around, you got to go parents and wife and kids, right? So, but let's say it's your fifth time. I mean, how long? I mean, just do an act. Like, I would go up and not thank anybody and just do an act. <laughs> yeah. Just try to be like, all right, I got to do a 10, 15 second. <laughs> And then do that. I mean, the truth is, no one cares about right. the speech. So it's it's like you just think and try to get it out of the way. But I think if you can make it funny, then yeah. you know people look forward to you going up there. That's what I would think would be fun. Right. Well, you're up some uh, up against some really good names. You've got um, Kevin Hart, uh, Chelsea Handler, Lewis Black, Louis C.K., Lavelle Crawford. Out of all those guys, um, who do you think should come in second place? Okay. It's tough, man. I mean, uh, Louis special, I thought was really great. Uh, and, you know, he talked about all this stuff and I know and people don't like it, but just as a, as a comedic standpoint, I mean, Louis special, I thought was pretty great. Uh, and I didn't, I didn't really see everybody else's special. To yeah. be fair. Uh, so I don't know completely, but, uh, I, I did think his was great. I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen any of these. Uh, or or uh, there are, it's best comedy album, so I guess you, you'd have to hear it. But uh, I know well, it's, it's special. And so so Netflix just you also get a uh, they also make a vinyl that they submit as an album. Okay, so okay, so these are not just audio. These could be audio and video, and then they just take they're the all. I think these are all video, and oh. then they're. I don't think any of them are albums, but they're oh. both. You know, it's like both. It's like, you know, you can go by, you can listen to my Comedy Central special. It's like essentially like that. So you just submitted yeah. Grammy as the album. Um, all right. So did you hear about Spotify recently taking off all their comedy? What are your thoughts? Crazy. 
Uh, so I, I, I wasn't off. And then I think I just got off yesterday. Like, so yeah, it was like slowly we're all just getting knocked off. And I had someone that like, Hey, try to find you on Spotify. It's all off. Uh, you know, I don't understand the insides of that. I know it's just think of spoken giants yeah. and they, uh, 800 brown gorilla has a lot to them. And I think they're very, very important in uh sound exchange. And so it's that kind of stuff. You're going to need those kind of people to be in our corner and help us fight against this. Uh, but yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's just kind of crazy. It's like insane to be like, well, so instead of paying, you're just like, well, I'll just get, take all of you. Yeah. Off. It sounds like, like a dad move. Like if you're in yeah. the car and you're like, dad, turn the radio station to this. And he goes, you know what? How about I just turn it off? Yeah. yeah, yeah. It does sound like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's you know like- what? Everybody off. Yeah. I mean, that's a little temper tantrum on their part. I mean, how much money would it be really? I don't know. I mean, it's – so that, if you don't know what we're talking about, you know, Spotify took off all the comedy, the stand-up comedy, because there was a company that was going after them. They want, they wanted to be able to pay the comedians not just as performers but as writers, correct? Yeah. Yeah. And so they didn't want to have – I think – Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's who we are writing. I mean, we write ours more than – any art, I agree. I mean, we're the only writer, uh, so it's yeah. I mean, it, it, it would make sense, and that's just gonna be a battle. They just, you know, comedy's getting. I think this is the biggest spotlight stand up has ever had on it, and you know, we're kind of getting a little more mainstream where we're not as much of you know. People used to know like five stand up comics, and now with podcasts and just the access people have to comedy, like we're starting to get known more. Yeah, and people are actually searching us out, and a big part of that was serious radio and podcast and Spotify, and you know, people listen to those albums when they're driving. Like, comedy is a great thing to listen to when you drive. So, yeah. yeah, I think they're, you know, so now it's like let's start, yeah, hopefully start fighting that and things like Spoken Giants. I mean, I think those will be huge parts. <laughs> Hey, it's me again. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that. If you did, you, uh, you should check out the entire episode. It's a blast. And then if you're going to do that, you might as well subscribe. And then, you know, if you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit the notification bell. All right. And, uh, and know that I love you. <laughs>